Hey everybody, Hi Five Picker here. Just wanted to uh, kind of page through a pretty incredible record collection that I ended up buying today. Um, out in the middle of nowhere, rural Minnesota, in the middle of a barn. And I originally went out there for some stereo equipment and uh, ended up finding some pretty incredible stuff. Um, first of all, I'll kind of go through all the ones that I'm keeping which is Headhunter by Herbie Hancock, B.B. Uh, King, L.A. Midnight, uh, T-Bone Walker, Funky Town, Stevie Wonder, Inner Visions, of course I'm keeping that, Joe Tex, Spills the Beans, and The Meters, Sissy Strut. So those are all ones I'm keeping now for all the stuff that's going to get listed for sale. And this is wild. This is... I never thought in the middle of central Minnesota on a farm, in the middle of a cornfield, I'd found such a soul collection. I mean, obviously you're looking at a Grateful Dead record. There was a couple classic rock records that were in there, but this is pretty wild. So, uh, start off with, yeah, uh, Jerry Bear's Choice, History of the Grateful Dead, Volume 1, uh, Ohio Players, Ecstasy, Donny Hathaway, Extension of a Man, Billy Preston, a whole new in the plastic whole new thing in the plastic still still new uh, Willie Hutch the Mac Merle Saunders fire up Curtis Mayfield back to the world that one is a Buddha pressing with the tie-dye label there's another one in here that's a Buddha pressing with the black label and like I said, these are all going to be for sale on both uh, my Reverb LP shop and our website, ccvintageaudio.com, as well as Discogs. Uh, pretty stellar version of Curtis here with the Black Buddha label. Beautiful gatefold, incredible, sounds amazing. VG Plus Easy. The Highway, I don't even know who this is. The Highway QC's Be At Rest. Um, incredible reggae sampler called Straighten Up. Sorry for the cover art. The Villionaires, I'm going to serve the Lord. Pretty rare. Uh, Burl Ives, Disney. Stevie Wonder Christmas record in the classic brand new. A uh, really nice copy of Cheap Thrills, Janis Joplin. Uh, Rock and Roll Baby by the Stylistics. Collectors Col the Collectors Coliseum. Not much there, but Savoy Brown, Home Cooking. James Brown, The Payback, Gatefold. Pretty controversial record when it came out. Al Green, Call Me. Sad Jones and Mel Lewis, good jazz record that's still sealed in the plastic. Here's that other version of Back to the World with the uh, black Buddha label. Superfly, of course, original Buddha pressing. And I've got the prices listed on here, what I'm going to list them at so you see them. That one's got the original Buddha label with the tie-dye. The Counts, Love Sign, Sealed, New. Shy Lights, that one's got some writing on it, which is a bummer. James Moody, Beyond This World, that one's sealed in the plastic. Willie Hutch, Fully Exposed. Tower of Power. Graham Central Station. Ronnie Dyson, One Man Band. Manhattans, there's no more me without you. It's funny because most of these I wouldn't even look twice at at a thrift store. But looking them up, a lot of these are Italian and British pressings, which are crazy. So I don't even know. I've never heard of this guy. Sol Mancasa, Mano de Bango. Karma, Celebration, New in the Plastic. Best of Mandrill, new in the plastic, just outside of town, Mandrill. Lionel Richie, Can't Slow Down, in the plastic, brand new. 
Marvin Gaye, Every Great Motown Hit, War, The World is a Ghetto. Quintessential record right there with the Cisco Kid on it. And another kind of African jazz record, which I don't think there's much there. But yeah, pretty amazing, pretty amazing collection today.